It's very unusual to see a big toe go over top of all the other toes. You usually see it kind of like her right foot where the big toe goes under. Um, it's just kind of the bigger guy and it goes under everything. It's like completely out of its joint. I, I'll tell you the truth. I've never seen this toe go all the way over it before. Yours is a, a severe bunion deformity and that's called hallux abducto valgus. What? Yes, what I know. What is that? I, you're right. So hallux abducto valgus is our bunion, right? Some people think of their bunion deformity as like a growth on the inside of their foot because honestly it looks like, sometimes it looks like there's a golf ball there. But in reality, it's just a joint that is, you know, out of direction. And then your yeah. second toe, it's, it's hammering. <laughs> the uh, second toe here? Yeah, th this guy here. Okay, yeah, right? that, yeah. And it's also very <laughs> swollen right now. So Correct. all of the jamming of the joints throughout, yes. you know, your ballerina career and just regular life, it's really taking its toll on every single joint of the foot. Another thing is your second toe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is all cut up, you know, due to shoes and rubbing and things like that. Yeah. But this toe is also very long. The good thing is, is you have something that can be fixed but we have a lot of work ahead of us, yeah. a lot of work. Danielle has so many things that are going on in both feet to where we're only gonna address one foot at a time because she needs that other foot to stabilize her during her recovery. The main part of it is the big guy here. Yes. And this okay. big guy has a mind of its own and it's touching your other toes. <laughs> so what we'll need actually to do is take a chunk of your bone out, right? Okay. That's gonna be able to get this bone realigned that's going to shift your foot into a more corrected position. The bump's going to be gone, and we're going to hold this toe in place with a plate and screws. This toe is going to need to get shortened a little bit so you're not putting all that pressure and it's not hitting and jamming into your shoes. And then you'll have a nice straight foot. That's incredible. How's that look right there? I don't think I've ever walked with a straight foot. If you're out of pain, you'll be able to dance. You'll be able to get that passion back. Oh my God. You know, so that's like my that's main goal cool. for you. <laughs> you're going to wave a magic wand <laughs> and it's going to be great. And yeah. doctors, <laughs> maybe, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> I wish. There's a lot more work than that. Yeah. Uh, th this wand is going to be a bone saw. So well, it's a know. little more graphic than a beautiful wand. You know, it's, it's going to be challenging to get that relocated because whenever you have uh, a dancer's foot, your plan can change. I mean, you can go in with plan A and you can come out with plan D. And Danielle has some of the worst dancer's feet I've ever seen.